Today we're talking about something that happens every day, dissolving. Whether it's sugar in your tea or salt in your soup, you've seen things dissolve. But what makes something dissolve faster and why can some things dissolve more than others? Let's break it down using the particle theory of matter to explain how different factors affect solubility and how fast a substance dissolves. Solubility is all about how much of something, the solute, can dissolve in a liquid, the solvent, to make a solution. Think of it like making lemonade. How much sugar you can dissolve in water before the water can't hold any more sugar. But here's the catch. Different factors can affect how much can dissolve and how fast it happens. The particle theory tells us that all matter is made up of tiny, constantly moving particles. These particles are attracted to each other and have spaces between them. The way particles move and interact helps explain what happens when something dissolves. Temperature is a big factor in solubility. For solids and liquids, increasing the temperature usually increases solubility. Imagine stirring sugar into hot tea versus cold tea. The sugar dissolves much faster in hot tea, right? That's because when the water is heated, the particles move faster and spread out, making it easier for sugar particles to slip in between. As the temperature goes up, more sugar can dissolve because the water particles are moving around more creating more space for the sugar to mix in. This all happens because, according to the particle theory, the heat makes particles move faster. For gases, it's the opposite. In warmer temperatures, gases, like carbon dioxide, dissolve less. This is why soda goes flat faster when it's warm. Those gas particles escape more easily when they're heated because the faster moving particles push the gas out. Another factor is the nature of the solute and solvent. Have you ever noticed that sugar dissolves easily in water, but oil doesn't mix with it? That's because like dissolves like. If the solute and solvent have similar types of particles, they're more likely to dissolve in each other. For example, water, which is a polar substance, easily dissolves sugar, which is also polar, but not oil, which is non-polar. The particle theory tells us that this difference is because polar particles have stronger attractions to each other, making it easier for them to pull apart and dissolve. Now let's talk about how fast something dissolves or the rate of dissolving. There are a few factors that can change how quickly a substance disappears into the solvent. Temperature plays a role here too. Higher temperatures make the particles of the solvent move faster so they bump into the solute particles more often. This helps break the solute apart quicker because the faster moving particles collide more frequently. That's why sugar dissolves faster in hot water. Stirring or shaking the solution also speeds things up. When you stir, the solvent particles are pushed around, bringing them into contact with the solute more quickly. Imagine stirring your tea. By moving it around, you're helping the solvent particles bump into the solute particles more often, speeding up the process. The size of the solute particles also matters. Have you ever tried dissolving a sugar cube versus granulated sugar? The smaller the pieces, the faster they dissolve. Smaller particles have more surface area exposed to the solvent, which means more places for the solvent particles to interact with the solute and dissolve it faster. So what's the big takeaway? Solubility, how much something can dissolve, and the rate of dissolving, how fast it happens, are both affected by temperature, the nature of the solute and solvent, stirring, and particle size. All of these factors can be explained using the particle theory, which tells us that particles are always moving and interacting in different ways depending on the conditions. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you dissolve sugar in your tea, or salt in your soup, think about how those tiny particles are moving and you'll know exactly why things dissolve the way they do.